peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones, let's get into this energy. Libra. Yes. I hope that you are all doing well and feeling lovely. You know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. Libra, anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section, as well as a link to a free natal chart so that you may explore all of those beautiful energies that lie from within inside of you. My beautiful Libras, welcome to another edition of your weekly forecast report. Reporting for the week of the 19th of May through the 26th, okay? From the 19th to the 26th, we're getting into this energy, beautiful ones. Now, we are embarking upon this full moon energy. You may be able to see this flower moon, all right, already in your neck of the woods. However, I hope that you are all planning to really just enjoy yourself in this energy. This is all about you. The moon is currently in Libra, all right? So the moon being in Libra right now, until we make our shift, right? This moon energy is all about you enjoying everything that is beautiful, everything that is just in your life, everything that you passionately feel creates balance for you. So relish in that energy and, you know, we'll tap into what that energy is going to feel like for each of you beautiful ones. Now, <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of writing. I've been doing a lot of everything today. However, I did want to get energy for you all to really manifest in, okay? Mm -hmm. To manifest in this energy. Now, this week, on the 19th of May, the 19th, mark your calendars, beautiful ones. Uh-huh. Starting today, Sunday. Now, this reading is a timeless message. However, I'm talking about the energy that's happening in the cosmos right now. And I want you all to take advantage of this energy. This is an energy with Venus in the energy of Taurus, okay? So Venus and Jupiter are making a conjunction, beautiful ones. And this is when Venus is extremely close to the sun, something like an hour away from the sun, okay? Jupiter reaches its superior junction on May 18th, that was yesterday. So right now, we're sitting in the energy of what is known as where the saying bullseye comes from, bullseye. This is bullseye energy for you, beautiful ones, for each and every one of you, depending upon where your ascendant placement is all right and that's your rising so i'm going to go ahead and dip off into the energy so i don't spend too much time in it just really wanting you to have the information you need in order to manifest all right in this energy beautiful ones so let's start with aries aries rising okay ascendance of aries your conjunction is in your second house all right and your bullseye Energy will fall in your financial matters and potentially through small investments leading into an increase in prosperity, all right? Taurus rising. Your conjunction happens in your first house and your bull's eye hits self-expression, 
all right? Personal development from within yourself. It's going to be an enhanced of self-worth, okay? Being recognized also and some financial gains that cause and tie into that recognition of who you are. Now, there's going to be some special energy in the houses of your second house, your fourth house, and your sixth house, two, four, six, all right? It's special aspects that are happening in those energies. So if you happen to get a house, all right, according to the cosmos, this is kind of like, you know, extra, extra, <laughs> read out about it type of energy, okay? So... Gemini, your conjunction is happening in your 12th house and your bullseye energy is when it comes to your spiritual pursuits and uncovering hidden secrets, sacred knowledge and hidden opportunities as well for you, beautiful ones. When it comes to wealth, you'll also experience an inner growth and introspection will take place in this energy for you. So this is the time for you to really tap into your spiritual abilities and reveal what has been hidden to you because you have the ability to do this in this energy. Cancer, you're in the 11th house and that's where you will be conjuncting, okay? Yeah, you'll get that conjunction energy happening in your 11th house and it's about really your house of gains and what it is you're to gain so this is community relationships and activities all right you may be doing something more active in the community in this energy this is all about your where you make your mark at this bullseye energy and it's about you networking and building connections that lead to a lucrative opportunity for yourself, okay? Financial success throughout your collaborations. Leo, your conjunction is happening in the 10th house. Venus is your karma, all right? Now, your bull's high is in your career, your public eye endeavors, okay? Being recognized and leading okay leading being that leader and being recognized in a prestige manner advancements and also increases in wealth will happen through your personal achievements so the things that you've been pouring into that you've been building all right possible travel and you could buy something luxurious in this energy as well virgo your conjunction is happening in your ninth house, and that's your house of destiny, beautiful ones. Your bullseye is going to happen in the energy of your intellectual or philosophical pursuits. It's going to be a deepening and more of a dedication when it comes to learning. You may take some classes. You may be paying for a course in this time. You may be in this energy of leading when it comes to expansion and knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it's also about some growth and travel and an increase when it comes to wealth through higher education and spiritual endeavors. Expansion in knowledge overall is what will take place and you'll be destined to make more money in this area with prospects in your second house regarding your earning monies it'll be linked to a father figure as well, okay? However you make that connection. And this also welcomes in the energy of new communications, beautiful ones. I'm gonna take a sip. Beautiful Libras, uh-huh. Beautiful Libras. Your conjunction is in the eighth house. Bull's eye hits for you when it comes to your shared resources and transformation. Now, this isn't any old type of transformation. This is a life transformation. This is putting luxuries to the back, okay? Kind of like putting them on the back burner, coming into a different realization of what is really more meaningful and forming meaningful partnerships, joint ventures, investments, and focusing 
a little more on expandable living, okay? Possibly a sale of property could happen in this energy for some of my Libras. And a secret partnership that can lead up to something very, very lucrative, all right? And also your hobby becoming your profession, something that you already love to do. You just do what you do and it becomes what it is that is a part of your wealth, your legacy, your dynasty, right? You have Scorpio with your conjunction happening, Scorpio, for you in the seventh house. This is your house of relationships, all right? It's a beautiful time for the energy of partnerships for you, my Scorpio ascendants, all right? The bullseye for you is when it comes to commitments and making things official. Possible proposals will happen, marriages, deepening of relationships of all sorts that will become fruitful in this energy. Signing of contracts as well new relationships, and also some luxury spending could come into play as well. Be careful with that energy. Sagittarius, conjunction, sixth house of debt, all right? And enemies, and obstacles, and health concerns in the workplace. That's the sixth house energy. Your bullseye, it provides comfort in your work routine. Now, due to your focus and discipline, this comfort comes about. So this says that you've been doing work and this house is all about service as well. So it's your service to others and your self-empowerment in this energy actually increases, all right? And it leads to an increase in productivity as well as a untimely productivity space creating wealth, all right? As if you're setting something aside for you to create more opportunity for yourself. Be careful in this energy because of Jupiter, health issues will come up in this house and it has everything to do with the sweetness that venus brings to you okay so possible weight gain or a sugar spike in this energy beautiful ones okay so look out for that watch out for that and possible job confirmations can come through in this energy be careful with your knees and your legs as well in this energy beautiful ones and debt can also be brought down. So look into that as well. Capricorns, all right? Fifth house is where you'll find your conjunction happening. And it's gonna be about gains as well as creating gains. Your bull house will hit in positive karma. And that's on the workplace. It's going to be a creative spark that hits you, all right? And it's going to really tap into your romantic endeavors as well. Feeling more determined. You know, those that are into the market, your investments will pay off and it's a good opportunity to increase them in this energy. Now, entrepreneurship is a great great energy to really tap into at this time if this is what you're already doing investing in yourself is also the investment when it comes to your own personal entrepreneurship and starting a new thing such as a collaboration and possible travel this is where you'll find your bullseye energy you can't be stopped in this energy capricorn aquarius Okay, Aquarius rising. Your conjunction is in your fourth house. Now, this is a very important house because it's about your peace and your happiness, beautiful ones. Your aspects, you ruled 11th house and it's responsible for your, you providing, you know, you really being in this energy of receiving what's for you, all right? Now, your bullseye energy could come from real estate, 
So for my beautiful Aquarius ascendants, if you are into investments with real estate, you know, this could be an opportunity for you within this bull's eye and also family inheritances come up in your energy at this time. And it's a great time to do business in the area, in these two areas to gain abundance. All right. So investments in real estate and things of that nature, consult your financial advisor. All right. Um, and on your mother's side of the family, there may be some inheritance or some wealth that you are attached to, okay? As well as extreme gain in foreign countries and success overall in other countries. So if you haven't broadened your horizons in that energy, it's suggested to do so, all right? It's an opportunity for an expansion for future gains for you, okay? And Monies concerning the house or possible car repairs could come into play at this time for you. Last but not least, Pisces. Uh-huh. Pisces. Your conjunction is happening in your third house, all right? And this is about you and your siblings, your neighbors, your community. And you speaking up, all right? You're also being told in this energy to speak up about the things that have been hidden. Go ahead and bring it up because what happens is you create gains through your honesty, such as becoming more intuitive and having insights. So this is like clearing space for your gifts, right? This is an opportunity to use your gifts for that. And that insight and that intuitiveness causes you to speak up about things that are hidden. Where your bull's eyes energy hits at is when you put yourself out there and network. Get out there to some networking events, socialize, and really... Get into the energy of what it is that you purposely know you're here to do. So if you are an entrepreneur, this is a great time for your networking, getting together at gatherings, and also taking some short journeys, some distances, and all the things that include media, journalism, and possible domestic flights and trips. Take time to make the right connections. Beautiful ones, that is your rundown for the weekly forecast report. Let's go ahead and get into this energy, beautiful ones. We're going to start off with sign of the times, okay? Sign of the times. So everyone has a, a look or a scope into where your bull's eye energy is. There's a whole story behind the bull's eye itself, but I won't go into that energy. I will always incorporate um, different stories in my teachings as well. So you end up getting the stories just in different formations when spirit calls me to give them. But this bull's eye energy, this is uh, all suspicious time, okay? And it's the time for you to tap into your manifestations as we approach this full moon, okay? This flower moon that is coming up. And I'll tap more into that energy as we um, get into the week. So beautiful ones, let's talk about it. Sign of the Times Oracle. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as I channel these messages. I ask that my collaborative, my tribe, is protected as well. Spirit, give us cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra's energy. Thank you. Libra. We're going to pull four, okay? 
Mm, all right, more cards. Mm, these two flip. I'm not taking these. But I'll take the one off top. Bam, let's talk about it. Hmm. You have the globe here, okay? That's your overall energy, the globe. And this is all about possibility. All the possibilities that await you is what I'm gathering, okay? There's many possibilities that await you in this energy. You have yield that comes out, and this is, wow. Yeah, you definitely are being told to slow down. Spirit is saying slow down. Uh-huh, yield. You've gotten this combination before with caution, okay? Patience and caution came out next to each other. Yield with patience and traffic cone with caution. Mmm. Yeah. Those, we're, I'm going to clarify those, all right? We got succulent here. And this is about resilience. You're very resilient, but you're still being told to be patient and to slow down. You got your angels riding you, uh-huh, on the side of you, above you. You got the tree that's here, and this is about your ancestry. This particular shirt says family reunion, okay? So this is a family reunion tree. And this is letting you know that you have ancestors all around you. And this is where you get this resilience from. Spirit, give us a caution. Give us a caution. The traffic pump. What does Libra need to know? Thank you. Wow, that's a lot. Spirit said, take them. Wow. Okay, this is what you need to know. The possibilities, all right? Caution, traffic calm, slow down. There's some possibilities Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on, all right? Spirit wants you to consider all the possibilities, all right? Spirit also wants you to consider all the opportunities. This is a key in the key ring, and it says keys open doors, all right? So these are opportunities and responsibilities, and I can't help but to see on the keychain is another world, okay? Another world on the keychain, just like the globe. Destiny is here. Spirit doesn't want you to miss something that's destined to happen. This is palm, okay? Palm is here. The palm of your hand, the imprint of your life. Uh-huh. When it comes to a knot, a relationship, okay? So all of this says a divine union to me. And Spirit wants you to treat it like you would the caution cone, okay? Uh-huh. Be cautious. Be cautious with it. Patience is here. Give us patience, Spirit. Patience for Libra. Patience. Thank you. Distractions. Wow. When it comes to love. Distractions when it comes to love. So patience, you're being told to be patient because it's been some distractions, all right? Things may seem cloudy right now, okay? In the report, you may see clouds when it comes to love. But this card right here that's poking out, wow, I can't help but the two that's trying to come out. Let's just take these three out together because they want to come out together. Balance is here. This is you. Yin and yang. Personal power. That's your crown. And this is the sun. This is about taking action. So 
when it comes to love, when it comes to heart, with heart representing this sun energy taking action, this is Leo energy. Leo rules the heart. This is love. This is personal power, the crown. I think of just being powerful in itself, balancing out this energy, this yin and yang, being Libra, this distraction that has taken place. When it's all said and done, you're being told to be in the energy of patience. Because behind this here heart is abundance. Okay? Is abundance. Yeah. It's a union connected to your abundance in this energy. And it's been coming up in energy. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's why we can talk about the power couples all day long. You know, because you're not powerful until you can create together in that way. All right. Whatever your abundance looks like to you. Right. Your abundance could be on a farm. Your abundance could be on a mansion. It's different degrees. Right. Beautiful ones. Let's let's tap into ancestry. Ancestry spirit. Give us the tree. Give us the tree. For Libra. Give us the tree. All right. We only got one now flipped over, and it's crystal. It's achievements. What I got from that right away is your ancestors are proud of you, and this is about your personal achievements. You're also protected in this energy. This is the Labradorite crystal representing achievements. That's this big heart over here in the corner. So this energy is just reminding you about everything that you've done, you know, in regards to your personal gains. They're proud of you. And to continue to flourish in that energy. Because you're doing it and you're correcting something in the bloodline. This is the energy I get. You're resilient in this energy. Hmm. Powerful message. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. I got a new deck in today. And... I'm going to pull on that energy in just a moment. We're going to tap into some symbols. Some sacred symbols. And get more energy out here. See what is going on. What else does spirit want us to know in this energy? This is your weekly forecast report. More energy for Libras. More energy for Libras. Thank you, Spirit. More energy for Libras. We'll pull four. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Wow. Four shout out. Let's talk about it. Okay. All right, beautiful ones. You got a shadow here. Mm. Mm. Some of you are dealing with your shadow side. Mm hmm Yeah. Wow. I got one card extra, and I'm just now seeing this here. I'm going to take it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, some of you are dealing with your shadow side. As above, so below type of energy. Karmic path. This is a karmic path. You're on a karmic path. Whatever's happening, this is Saturn, okay? 
So whatever's happening in this energy right now, this is something that you, you, some of you have total recall of this. You remember this, okay? You're in a lifetime in 3D that you remember. Now I'm going to read Karmic Path for you all, beautiful ones. It's the frequency of eight. We're in the year of eight, beautiful ones. Okay? <laughs> Karmic Path. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and the second largest in the solar system. Saturn is connected to the concepts of limitations and restrictions. Although it may seem depressing on the surface, Saturn's role in astrology is to bring meaning and structure to our lives. Mm. Yeah, there's some structure being brought in this energy. Karmic lessons, learning experience, hard work, perseverance, and structure. That's that resilience card as well. A new and valuable lesson is available to you at this time. This moment requires your due diligence. Pay attention to what is being presented to you. Have you been doing, have you been down this road before? Our souls come to this earth school to learn valuable lessons as beings and for the planet. What are you being taught right now? This moment may require hard work, but it will have many long lasting rewards. You are not being punished, but you are gaining tools and experience for living that will be with you for the rest of your life. Drawing this card tells you that the foundation of what you are building is strong and it is a part of your legacy. Wow. Straight like that. That's why the ancestry card came out. That's why the resilience came out. That's why the caution came out. This is about you on your karmic path. Like I said, you've done this before. New life is here. New life. It's a transformation happening and you can't go back on and be the same person you were. This is a new life for you. Yeah. And it's one that you're familiar with. However, this is the new life that you're creating that ties into healing that bloodline I talked about. Mm -hmm. Frequency of four when it comes to the new life. Mm. Powerful. The arrival of new beginnings or a new budding start of something beautiful and long lasting. Drawing this card can indicate a need or desire to start over with a sense of child life wonder. What you are beginning will have a strong impact and reach. Drawing this card can indicate a positive relationship our experience and this is the egyptian sign for the ankh meaning and representing eternal life but i love it because it follows friendship and the ankh represents this energy of relationship so this is like your spirit's mate is what i'm getting with this ankh and the friendship, this is the peace and treaty friendship, arrows, okay? Friendship is the frequency of 17. This means you got a new ally. This is a positive support, community, and camaraderie. Spirit wants you to meditate when you want more harmony and peace with your community. Also, use to draw new alliance and friends, okay? This American Indian symbol of two arrows cross signals peace, friendship, 
and the end of war. So when it comes to a relationship, a friendship, a partnership, it could be the end of war or causing, um, really throwing up a treaties, okay? Surrendering. And you know what? Surrendering was actually behind one of the cards in the sign of the times deck. It was behind the sun, I believe. I just didn't pull it out. <laughs> wow, you got gratitude here. Spirit is asking you to stay in this energy of gratitude. Okay, beautiful ones. You yeah, burn your gratitude candle. And we're approaching this full moon energy. And I will be tapping more into that energy. And we'll talk more about that later in the week. So beautiful ones, this is what's happening in the energy. And I like it. I love it. Wow, your overall energy is you. Your overall energy is air, beautiful ones. And y'all know I normally tell you your overall energy, but it's all about you. Moon and Libra. Air is here. Tap in. Hit the bullseye. Hit that bullseye. I hope you was able to get something from, you know knowing where to manifest in the areas of when it comes to this all suspicious time of this beautiful energy and conjunction that's happening. So let's go ahead and explore the energy of the new deck. Now, I looked at it briefly. I put my energy on it, but I did not read the cards because... I felt the intensity of them, and I just wanted to connect with them. So I'll be getting the energy with you for the first time as well. And I love to do that with you all. Once I connect with the energy of them and get pretty much the vibe for them, what made me get them is because they were intense. Okay, and they only show you so much, but I could feel that these messages were going to hit a little different for the collaborative, okay? Beautiful ones. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Thank you for everyone who is hitting that like button. Share this beautiful metaphysical channel. Uh -huh. Yes, this is your weekly forecast report and we're working with clarifying love situations okay so i want you to have the questions already in your mind in this energy okay mm -hmm. there are things that you have been questioning and i'm going to pull five of these cards to support you with some of the things that you've been questioning, okay? All wondering about. So let's go ahead, split this deck and get this energy. I'm excited. Cards for Libra. We're gonna pull six. Thank you, Spirit. More cards. Mm. And these cards are, they have different meanings in reverse and they're worded. So I will read them word for word. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we got a flipper. Here we go. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, beautiful ones. Your overall energy is avoid burnout. 
okay? Now, this is your love portion of your forecast, beautiful ones. And of course, whatever comes out in the tarot is what will come out as well. But in your love portion, this is asking you to avoid burnout. Fiery passion is consuming, sustain a lasting balance, okay? So there's some passion that you you know, share between your person. You could be desiring your person. You could be, you know, possibly even lusting for your person, all right? Wanting your person to be with you. They feel that energy. Yeah. And you feel theirs. So avoid burnout, okay? Uh-huh. Whatever feels like you're doing too much of, avoid it. Do something else instead with your energy. Create in that energy, beautiful ones, okay? That's what I'm getting. And these messages, they're already fire. I already see they fire. So, <laughs> yes, avoid the burnout. That's your overall energy. And you have lone path, okay? It's the lone path. Uh-huh. She's looking like she's out in the wilderness walking alone or he needing to take time out to be on your own for a while. Yeah. Some of my Libras may feel that. Like you just want to be alone right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have moon light unity moonlit unity okay use understanding to have greater emotional balance wow spirit is telling you to use your understanding to balance things out and it's called a moonlit unity it'll bring you two closer together at least in the energy you being understanding. You don't have to make anyone understand you for you to be understanding, beautiful one. Okay? Yeah. Clouded vision is here. Recognize and discuss red flags are areas of concern. Wow, that's some real big girl, big boy panties and drawers type of thing, right? You got to wear those. When you're able to recognize and discuss the red flags that you see with someone, are the areas of concern to really lay it out on the table and let someone know how you feel and where it is it made you feel unsafe? That takes some maturity, but spirit is saying that's what needs to happen in the energy. Moon dreamer. Love illuminates even the darkest concerns. Wow. What I'm getting, this is giving me eight of swords. Love has someone thinking and love has someone up at night as well. Because it illuminates even the darkest concerns. It's like it draws a light on the things, your shadow, your shadow self, the shadow card that came out. Miss chances. Don't have regret. Cherish your moments together. Wow. You're being told to don't have any regrets, okay? Whatever moment you had together or can make together, don't have regrets about them. Cherish them. Mm hmm. You can still cherish what it is, even it's, if it's the memory, okay? That's what I'm getting. Flight plan. Sometimes things fall apart for better things to come. 
wow, this is a whole plane that's crashed. Flight plane. So things could have fell apart for you and your situation with your person. But it's only for better things to come, whether that's with your person again or with someone new. Spirit, give me, give me the flight plan, flight plan. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, we got two that came out and they're in reverse. Revelations in Canvas comes out. Expose truths and divulge secrets to create a masterpiece of clarity. Wow. Lightning strikes dismantle outdated ways of being to get a fresh start. Mm. Dismantle outdated ways of being to get a fresh start. Somebody has to let go of who it is they've been because it's not working for them. It, everything needs to be dismantled. And there's revelations when it comes to truths that need to be spoken and secrets that need to be divulged. And it's going to create a masterpiece of creativity. And this is a flight plane. Where things become better after they fall apart. But in order for them to be better, this has to happen. Lightning strikes and revelations. Mm, okay. Clouded vision. Spirit, give us clouded vision. This is recognize and discuss the red flags or areas of concern. Give us clouded vision for Libra. Clouded vision. Thank you, Spirit. It's me. Divine union. Wow. That's what you can't see. This is what you don't see. Use the wings of empathy to bring love and harmony. While wow. spirit is telling you to open your heart, Libra. Okay? So if there's any resentment, look at these two angels. Uh, this is so beautiful. Bring love to harmony, okay? Use the wings of empathy to bring love and harmony. Clouded visions. By you discussing what it is that you see with the red flags that cause, that trigger you, right? A divine union is here on the other side. When you use your wings of empathy Wow, okay. That's for somebody. Shining sign. Trust in the universe's plan and follow your heart. Okay? And this is the message for this here, okay? Yeah. Overall energy is trust in the universe's plan and follow your heart. Don't be scared to follow your heart. This is why you have these talks. So you don't stay in clouded vision. And it's okay to need that lone path, that time alone. Uh huh. But there is a moonlit unity that's here. As well as a divine union that's coming together in the synergy. I've been feeling it, but there is a separation that's happening before a union that's coming together. Now this is fresh and 
older separations that I feel. I feel when they're more recent in the energy versus pre-existing. So we're going to go ahead and Spirit is telling me to use the hmm. I'm going to use the Secrets of Paradise. Secrets of Paradise Tarot. And we'll get into this energy, beautiful ones. Let's talk about it. What's going on with Libra Spirit? What's going on with Libra? Tell us the story, Libra. More cards. More cards, spirit. Okay. One more spirit. Mm, I got you. All right. We got the five of pentacles here, beautiful ones. Next to the five of swords, that's 10. Those are endings with another 10 next to it. Another ending, 10 of cups, okay? Princess of cups is here. Five of pentacles is here. The strength, two of swords, and the lovers. Hmm. Beautiful one, somebody is holding on in your energy and they do not want to argue with you. They put their swords down. This is a Ten of Cups energy. They see you as someone who is a part of their life, be it in the physical form or the spiritual form. form. They see you as a Ten of Cups energy. This is a Princess of Cups energy that's here, possible water sign with the Five of Pentacles who feels left out in the cold and is being strong in this energy, is practicing some type of strength due to the Two of Swords, a stalemate, something not happening when it comes to the lovers, okay? So let's go ahead, let's talk about it. Overall energy is a king of wands energy, someone who is powerful and passionate, right? Sagittarius energy. Spirit, give me the four of pentacles for Libra. The four of pentacles for Libra. Four of pentacles, thank you. Spirit. All right. Judgment. So... This energy of someone holding on to you and also having some financial burdens, they're under judgment. There's something that is being reconditioned in the energy 
this energy is being judged. Something is being looked at. There's a rebirth that's happening. Overall, energy is the Six of Pentacles. There's some type of balancing that's being made in this energy. Some type of fairness. That's why this judgment is here. Six of Pentacles is the scale. Making things fair and balanced in the energy. That's why judgment is here. Give us more energy on the judgment in the Four of Pentacles. Excuse me. Five of Pentacles energy. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We got two of them. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is stressed out in their head. Possibly working a little too hard, okay? You got the Nine of Swords that's here with the Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords here with the Eight of Pentacles. This is anxiety and stress and working. Pouring all of your energy into work, all right? But working to calm the stress is what I'm getting. The star is here. Somebody wants to heal something in this energy. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Somebody wants to provide some clarity as well. And it's really getting to them. They're pouring themselves in their work. Give us the Five of Swords, Spirit. Thank you for leaving. It's free. Okay. It's the King of Wands. Okay. There's a Five of Swords. This is a King of Wands who puts their swords down. Possible Sagittarius energy doesn't have to be. It could just be a fire sign who is passionate or uh, just in that energy. This energy is the Ten of Swords. This energy could have possibly watched you bleed out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, let's distinguish this energy. You got someone feeling left out in the cold. You got a Five of Swords here that puts their swords down. Spirit, give us this energy of the Five of Pentacles, Spirit. Give us the Five of Pentacles. Give us the Five of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Um, it's someone who is not confused anymore. That's for sure. The Seven of Cups is here in reverse. Seeing the upright, this is someone who couldn't make a choice. Seven of Cups. In the reverse... They're very clear on what it is. The universe is here, okay? They're supported by the universe. Tell us more about the Seven of Cups. This is Cups energy. This has to do with emotions as well. So someone when is clear about what it is they want, and they're clear about their emotions and how their emotions are impacted in this energy. Seven of Cups, thank you. What is this? A high priestess, okay? Someone is here for the high priestess energy. This is a high priestess energy. This could be a Pisces placement. Uh-huh. Give us the high priestess, the high priestess. Give us this energy. This person could be in high priestess energy. What's going on? These are too many. I can't take all of these. Okay. Eight of Cups. Someone feels like they're not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. Someone feels trapped, stuck. Eight of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Because they didn't give when it came to the Ace of Pentacles, they didn't. They weren't fair. They weren't balanced. Spirit, give me this Ten of Cups energy. Give me the Ten of Cups energy. 
Ten of Cups. The devil. Temptation comes out. Somebody is obsessed with this energy. And it's the King of Pentacles energy. Overall energy. This card is sticking up. It's the chariot. They can have a earth sign placement in their chart as well as a cancer placement. Let's talk about it. Why is the devil here with the Ten of Cups? Somebody wants that happy home, that domestic harmony and that energy. They're obsessed about this energy. Yeah, they want to be free to take a chance in this energy, okay? But they're stuck is what I'm getting. They want to be free. Who's El Bobo? Spirit. Who's El Bobo? They're stuck in their head with this energy. Eight of Swords, okay? Who's El Bobo? Who's El Bobo, Spirit? Okay. Wow, we got three that flip. We gonna take them. Six of Cups. El Bobo is someone from your past, not either your recent past, past life. This is someone who makes you feel good when you think about them, okay? To some degree. They could have put you in a three-party situation with the Three of Cups here. Following the Four of Cups. These are all cups. This is Six Cups, Three Cups, and Four of Cups. Mmm. A lot of cups. Someone tried to put you in a three-party situation, or they did, okay? This is someone from your past, and it's a four-cup situation. This energy feels like this was is that missed opportunity. And they're upset about it. You see how this little boy's hands is folded? Mm-hmm. The Three of Cups, he's dancing with the two ladies, one at a time, right? The Six of Cups, nostalgic memories of someone from the past. Someone feels left out in the cold in this energy. Mm. Wow, I'm gonna put them back in. But that's what Spirit wanted you to know about the energy. Give us the lovers, Spirit. Tell us about the lovers. Oh, okay. Wow. Five of Cups in reverse and the Six of Swords. Now, when it comes to the lovers, Someone wants to be forgiven and they want to move on. This is five of cups in reverse. This is somebody that wants you to practice some type of forgiveness and move on in the energy. And the six of swords is here. This is so that you can move forward. This is the lover energy so that you too can move forward in this energy. Someone wants to be forgiven. Someone... <sighs> is remorseful, okay? When it comes to Queen of Swords, this is your energy. You may have cut this energy off or practice using your truthful sword, right? <laughs> Libra. Okay, so give us the Princess of Cups. Who's the Princess of Cups, Spirit? Princess of Cups. Three of Pentacles, mm-hmm. Princess of Cups, this is a collaboration. This is coming together with someone and your skilled talents, okay? All coming together and blending them, performing a masterpiece, okay? Overall energy is the Knight of Wands that's here. Somebody wants to rush in passionately when it comes towards this energy. And that's because 
I split the deck is the Eight of Pentacles, which is popping out like, yeah, they want a new chance at prosperity and abundance when it comes to your energy. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Beautiful ones. I've been talking a lot today. Um, you have this Five of Pentacles energy. Who's out in the cold, spirit? Tell us who's out in the cold. A queen of cups. A queen of cups energy. You feel left out in the cold, Libra. And I say that because the overall energy, or this could be your person. Your person is in their feminine energy. And be it masculine or feminine, whatever the energy is, they're in their feminine energy. They're in their deep emotions. They're in the queen of cups energy. And they're in this energy over a princess of swords. This is Libra's energy. So you could be dealing with a water sign, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. They're in their feminine energy right now, feeling their emotions. Give me the Queen of Cups. Tell us more. Tell us more, Spirit. Thank you. La Bruja, the witch, comes out. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. You should see what's going on up in here. Look, the La Bruja comes out. There's somebody throwing spell work at a Queen of Cups behind the God. This is the Emperor. Five of Wands wants to fall out, okay? Somebody wants to fight over this Emperor energy. Let's see what's behind the God. La Luna. Is being illuminated. Mm-hmm. Pisces energy. And they could be doing moon magic as well. Wow. Spirit, tell us about the La Bruja. Tell us about the La Bruja. Tell us more. Okay. Karma. And the will of fortune. Somebody getting karma. Somebody's throwing work at someone because they're getting karma. They're sitting in karma. Because someone is on their will of fortune. Someone is on their divine path while someone is getting karma. Now, Depending on what side of the coin you want, you either getting good karma or bad karma, right? The La Bruja, the Will of Fortune, and karma. This is somebody trying to play with somebody's destiny. And the overall energy is the sun. This is the truth. It, they've been eliminated. They're being exposed. They are exposed in this energy. Six of Pentacles. Things are being made fair in this energy, okay? Mm, this card is sticking up. A Knight of Wands is here. Somebody wants to rush in towards your energy. This wants to be seen. A Page of Wands to create something in your energy. I split the deck. It's an emperor, okay? It's the God. It's the God who wants to come into your energy. Somebody knows something is being exposed in this energy. Mm. And this is the weekly forecast. <laughs> Beautiful ones. Somebody playing in the moon already. Okay, let's talk about it. The strength is here. Resilience is here. The ancestors pulling up. Your tree. All of this energy that has come before this energy, this is why. You got angels. You uh, caution. These warnings. Spirit, give me the strength. 
Give me the strength. Somebody's upset in this energy. Okay. They are. King of Pentacles. And it's somebody's baby daddy. Look at these cards, y'all. It's a cold, cold world out here. King of Pentacles, okay? Possible Taurus Capricorn Virgo placement. This is a snake charming energy, okay? This is a snake charmer. This person probably charmed you in your energy, all right? Possible business owner as well, but look at the overall energy. It's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, okay? They could be dealing with a Queen of Pentacles in reverse who is greedy, uh-huh, and broke. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And the King of Pentacles comes out. Possible Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo placement. But this healing card is out here with it. Someone is in reverse because somebody wants to heal a six of cups. They want to heal the energy with someone from the past. The healing with the six of cups wants to be seen. Wow. The goddess wants to be seen. This is the empress. Okay. She's poking out too. So it's kind of like this queen of cups in reverse don't matter because what's taking precedent right now is someone in this energy of this Ace of Wands wanting to create. And guess what it's creating? It's creating a Five of Wands energy, some jealousy, all right? Some competition when it comes to an offer that was made by a Nine of Cups that involves this here Ace of Cups. Somebody found their true love and somebody is mad as hell about it. That's what's going on in the energy. Mm. Two of Swords, the stalemate energy. Give us the stalemate, Two of Swords energy. Give us the stalemate. Somebody has been exposed. And that's all I've been doing all weekend. And I know it. Two of Pentacles. So, two of Pentacles with the Two of Swords, okay? All Earth energy. Earth energy with the Two of Pentacles. And then we got the Swords with you. So this is Earth energy versus air energy is what I'm getting when it comes to this two of sports energy, this stalemate. Somebody tried to juggle. They didn't know if they wanted reggaeton or salsa. Uh-huh. And they're trapped in their head about this energy. They're trapped in this head about the in their head about the stalemate energy that's taking place with a queen of swords. Would that be you, Libra? I think so. Okay, let's talk about it. Hmm. They just want to look. They chose you. You the lover, okay? And that's what it is. And the Six of Swords is here. And they want to move forward. They want to be forgiven for the energy that has taken place, right? Five of Cups is in reverse. Tell us about the Two of Pentacles, Phil. The Two of Pentacles. Tell us. Mm, somebody ain't sleep no more. They woke. They woke, the dead has arisen. Four of swords is in the reverse, okay? They're not retreating anymore. They're wide awake. Overall energy, when it comes to the Ten of Pentacles, stop playing around here. This is the card, again, remember, beautiful ones, with the ancestor in the background, in the white dress, be it in body or spirit, they approve of this union. This union was placed together and put together in the cosmos, down the ancestry line. This is a union returning to one another. Ten of Pentacles, family foundation. Somebody, I split the deck. It could be a cancer energy. The chariot is here. Somebody wants to move forward and they want to move forward now. When it comes to this five of cups energy, this is what I'm getting. It's in reverse. That means let's let's get over this. Okay, let's heal this. Mm. Hmm. Karma is happening to this energy that was playing around when it came to somebody's destiny. When it came to your and your person's destiny. The La Bruja. Yeah. 
on the Queen of Cups. Somebody wanted a Queen of Cups energy left out in the cold. Mm. Spirit, give me the Snake Charmer. Give me the King of Pentacles. Okay, because this this is this is your person. Your person is the snake charmer, okay? Give me the snake charmer. Thank you. Ten of Wands, they're going through burdens right now. They are. They're going through burdens. But that doesn't stop them from being in this page of wands energy. One in a new fresh beginning when it comes to creating and possibly bringing you some type of good news as well. They want their nine of cups. I saw that card sticking out in the back. Now, this energy of this king of wands, let's tap into it because I need more clarification. This is feeling like an additional energy, okay? With the five of swords, another energy that wants to, you know, um, put down their swords. And I'm sure many of you aren't even interested in the swords and nothing else they got. Let's talk about it. The King of Wands, the King of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. And if you're interested in this Sagittarius energy, that's your business, right? King of Swords, <laughs> okay? They can have an Aquarius placement, but I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're the King of Swords on this energy, okay? You see how Papa, he ready to slice a neck off about anything, anytime, any place, okay? Yeah, uh-huh. King of Swords is here. This energy, they're trapped in their head about the cutoff is what I'm getting. Mm. Give me the King of Swords with the King of Wands, Spirit. King of Swords with the King of Wands. King of Swords with the King of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. The Temperance Angel. Yeah, this is somebody Sagittarius, okay? And this Temperance Angel, look, they want to create some balance in the energy. And this energy is Two of Cups. This could have been your twin flame from the past, all right? They won't back in. Ace of Pentacles. They want a new beginning out of abundance and prosperity too, Libra. Now, beautiful ones, take what's yours and leave what isn't. They want to heal this too with the star here, Libra. All right? I'm getting I'm getting both those energies showing up again. They're caught up in their head too, Libra. Okay? So, for my beautiful ones that have already started a journey after their twin flame explosion or whatever it is, <laughs> you know? We're calling it these days, the soulmate, that union that caused so much pain between the two of you, right? Okay. There's another one that came into this energy, okay, of my beautiful Librans who moved past this energy and started to entertain someone else in the energy. So I'm getting a mixture of the both of those, all right? Now... Temperance is Sagittarius energy, and so is the King of Wands. Your Sagittarius could have an Aquarius placement, and with the healing coming out, that's more Aquarius energy. Them in this King of Swords energy. Hmm. Give me the Temperance with the King of Swords, but this overall energy is the Two of Cups. This is this is baby, baby, please. Okay, this is what I'm getting from this Two of Cups. This particular Two of Cups. Okay. She's standing over him. He's sitting down. Mm-hmm. Somebody wants to ground things between the two of you. Oh, Bobo is here. This is someone freeing himself from the devil, but obsessing over a Ten of Cups energy. Let's clarify that because I can find, I feel like the other energy of your person is in this energy as well. But when it comes to these, someone being strong and being a snake charmer and this energy going through these burdens right now, it's feeling like the king of wands. But it's definitely a la bruja here 
creating some situation when it comes to somebody who is under judgment and stressed out about you, Libra, in this energy. Give me a bobo. Give me a bobo in the energy for Libra. Thank you. Ace of Wands. This is creating something new and the universe has everything to do with it. It's, you know, a new opportunity for something new in creation. Something is being created. Wow, when it comes to that three of swords, okay? So whatever heartbreak that you went through, the universe is rewarding you in this energy, okay? What is the Ace of Wands? Who is the Ace of Wands here for? Who is that Ace of Wands here for, Spirit? Thank you. A page of Wands energy. Who's stuck in their head with this Eight of Swords energy, overall energy. This page of Wands here. They want a new beginning to create with you. Who is the page of Wands, Spirit? Tell us about the page of Wands. Hmm. The goddess comes out. They want to create with the goddess. They want to create with the empress. Okay? But there's a tower that's happening. This person could be young, okay? A page of wands energy. There's a tower happening. When it comes to this energy, a tower is here. There's this three of pentacles energy. They want to collaborate. Princess of cups. Give me the princess of cups with the take. The three of pentacles. Three of pentacles with the princess of cups. Wow. Okay. That's way too many. Hmm. This type of energy always comes out right before a full moon, right? Three of Pentacles spirit. These cards are just flying everywhere. Three of Pentacles is the nine of Pentacles, okay? This is someone who is self-sufficient and single, okay? So somebody wants to collaborate with a single guy, mm -hmm. our boy, right? Mix and flip and switch these energies. A tower came. You could be in this energy of healing, Libra. You know what? Hmm. I'm going to pull another deck. Give me a moment, beautiful ones. Let me see this time we're working with. Wow, we're deep. We're almost hitting an hour and a half. Let me see if I can find this other deck. Pull some energies from it. Mm. I really wasn't expecting this energy. Spirit, give me the archetypes. Give me the archetypes for these energies. Let's go ahead and pull on the archetypes. I can't find this other deck, and I don't want to waste any more time. Because I want to get this out to you all, beautiful ones. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe. And if this is your first time here, welcome. We'd love to have you over here at the Dynasty, beautiful ones. Let's go ahead. Let's... Get into this energy. I want to tap a little more into this energy. The spirit is withholding information right now, okay? And that's clear to me. So I'm not going to keep forcing anything. The spirit will let us know the energies in which it is. They exude of, okay? Spirit, give me Libra's person. Libra's person. Libra's person concerning the Bruja. Give me the energies for Libra's person. Whoever's throwing this recent energy, okay? Because this energy work being thrown.
Give us the La Bruja's energy and Libra's person. Okay. Cards for the La Bruja. Or whoever's behind the energy of the La Bruja. More cards. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Wow. Okay, there we go. That's her stuff. Give us his. For this with these energies, beautiful ones. Give us Libra's person. Thank you. Wow. Give us Libra's person. What else? Libra's person. Libra's person. And one off the top. Okay, I'm going to tell you who they're dealing with. Your person is a scribe. They write, okay? They're a writer. This could be someone who is into journalism, looks up a lot of information. They preserve knowledge and information, okay? They're a scribe energy, uh-huh. They're a scribe energy. Mm-hmm. Beautiful ones, take what is yours and simply leave what is not. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just finish your person, okay? Because the first card that came out is a king, all right? Yeah. Somebody want to fight over, remember the God, okay? So they're a king energy. This is a divine masculine. Enlightened, benevolent leadership, benefiting those in charge, okay? Those in your charge. This is someone who's looked at a leader in their community as well. Um, they're a healer. They're a healer. They may not even know that they're a healer, but they are. They have a passion to serve others by repairing the body, the mind, and the spirit. An ability to help transform pain into healing. Okay? Yeah, that's what's going on with your person. They're also a poet. Their light attribute. That expresses soul sights in symbolic language. So they speak a symbolic language and they can express their soul through insight. Mm. They're also the exodus, freeing yourself from others of destructive impulses. They could have American Indian. This is who is in this picture, okay? They're freeing themselves. They're going through an exorcist right now. They're freeing themselves from others with destructive impulses. And somebody doesn't like it. They're a mediator. They have a gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life. life. Respect for both sides of an argument. Okay? They're a mediator. But this is who their person is, beautiful ones. They're an addict, okay? They're an addict. And no matter what the light or the dark attribute is to it, okay? It's addiction. This is why this energy is freeing themselves from this energy. Helps you recognize and confront addictive behaviors. So when you deal with addicts and you're operating in an energy with an addict, they actually show you who you are in this energy. And this is why you see an exorcist being performed. They're an artist expressing a dimension of life that's just beyond five years, inspiring others to see life symbolically. But if this is used in a lower vibration by being an addict, this is someone using their talents as an excuse to mistreat others. Posing as the starving artist 
are elect pity. They use pity. They allow and want for people to feel sorry for them, okay? While they manipulate energy. They're the destroyer, okay? The destroyer comes out for this energy. This is someone, you know, destructively preparing for a new life. Intoxication with disruptive power, destroying others' dreams and potential. Okay? This is who this is in your person's life. They're the fool. Okay? And they use humor to wound people rather than limit, li liberate. And they're in denial of their own emotional truths. They fearlessly reveal emotions, but they use it as humor. The athlete here. Misuse of athletic ability are selfish ends. False sense of invulnerability and entitlement. This person feels entitled in the energy. Dedication to transcending physical limits including handicaps. This person could have a handicap, development of personal willpower, and strength of spirit. This person manipulates your person, okay? And has addictions. And this is the La Bruja that is showing up in the energy tonight, okay? With your person, with your divine person beautiful ones this is your weekly forecast uh-huh <laughs> it took a spin it really did but we're going to get back in this energy you know what i was supposed to do taurus tonight as well as capricorn i will do taurus following this read so beautiful ones it is venus energy um, and they will post tomorrow as well as Capricorn, okay? They won't be very lengthy, but if you have a Taurus R, a Capricorn placement, be on the lookout for that tomorrow as well as I'm going to go into the energy and just fill around and give you a bonus read. Beautiful ones, I'll be back in the energy. I am Empress 444 and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.